Hey, what's going on? I'm coming to you from this lovely Hilton Garden Inn near the LAX airport. I actually flew in because I received an email from Super 73 with the subject line that said, come see the future with Super 73. And a bunch of mysterious details were in the body of that email. Here, I'll just read it to you. So it says, please join Super 73 on March 15 at Candela La Brea in Los Angeles for an exclusive unveiling of our widest array of products to date. You'll see updated electric motorbikes from entry level to flagship, as well as an entirely new segment busting addition to our lineup. You'll also be the first to experience a bold new Super 73 concept that will turn two wheeled transportation on its head. While we can't share too much right now, we promise that you'll be blown away by what we're about to uncover. So I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, that's the main visit but I do have to give a huge shout out to my buddy Peter Parker he was actually one of the first content creators around super 73 that I followed when I started this channel and I've hit him up and we actually met up in Venice last night and it was just cool to meet Peter in real life and just chat shoot the breeze catch up and see what it's all about out here on the coast so huge shout out to him I'll link his channel down below be sure to check out his stuff also I'm looking forward to meeting a few other of the content creators around Super 73's brand people like Chris Shaver from Shaver Films Shreddy McSkate I saw that he was in town and interestingly enough when I was walking around Venice I saw a bike a Super 73 S2 that I recognized and it's owned by a gentleman by the name of Illicit and I hit him up on Instagram and I said hey I think I just saw you in Venice and so we chatted back and forth too so it sounds like he's gonna be there as well it's just funny that I recognized his bike because it's so iconic anyway it's the night before the event so I'll be sure to update you while I'm there hopefully I can get you some up close and personal shots of whatever it is that Super 73 is talking about in the email that they sent me. Also, something that I'm looking forward to tomorrow as well is a group ride. I've wanted to do an LA group ride for a while. It's too bad that I won't be on my bike, but I'm hoping to snag one and be able to cruise around town. So let's see what this thing is all about. It's the day of the event and it is a beautiful day in Southern California. Um, give myself plenty of time to get down to where the event is because I don't know what the parking situation is. I just know that it's pretty terrible in Los Angeles. So, you know, I don't know how parking works here, but there is definitely a reason why e-bike culture has really blown up in Southern California. I'm gonna put this thing down as I hit the road. We'll see you at the event. Parking. It's probably gonna cost me an arm and leg, but I guess that's what you get for not being around here. So just headed over to the event space now. Feels weird to be walking in a video for Super 73. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, dude? It's the Peter Parker Show. Yeah. How are you doing? How are you, man? Good. It's good to see you. Here. Yeah, it's good, good to pleasure. be out. Yeah. Oh, also, I've already met you, so. <laughs> That's right. Is, I actually like mentioned so that casual. last night. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, that was totally staged. Um, it's just weird to see everyone in person, so. Yeah. yeah I don't yeah. know how to handle this. Same. It's good to see you here, too, man. Yeah. It's crazy. yeah. Just cruising on Elicit's bike, front brakes only. 
kind of crowded in here. Dude, that seat's comfortable. That's game changing. Yeah. So we got Irv from Irv Labs. He makes the uh, Urban Basket. Been meaning to pick one up for my wife. Of course, uh, we all know that guy. I'll try to bend his ear for a minute. So this. I'm here with C. Cruz. C. Cruz, check him out. What do you do? You do YouTube and Instagram? Or? No, I just do Instagram just from Instagram. time to time. Not active, but I'm on there. C. Cruz. Yeah, you'll see him in a few like group ride videos. And, and follow stuff. the squad. FT FTS. That's right. I just saw that. All right. <laughs> cool, man. Everything's electric here. Even the cop cars. Got a Tesla. We're at the uh, Candela, Candela La Brea. I think that's how you pronounce it. Just waiting to go inside here in near Los Angeles. I think I'm in Los Angeles. I don't know. But uh, there's quite a crew showing up so far. Can I say hi to Chris Schauber? Oh, How are you, man? How you doing? Good. What's up? What's up? Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> this is uh, Tim from Schauber Films. <laughs> Just kidding. How are you, man? Good, man. How you nice doing? Nice to meet you in person. It was good. Yeah. All the creators. Hey, there. what's up, what's dude? It's Shreddy McSkate. Good to see you, man. Good you to see you. Hold on, I got a... <laughs> East Coast, Midwest, and then yep. West Coast. Right. We're everywhere. Right? There's Shreddy McSkate. <laughs> got the crew. Where's the camera? In the back now, right? I live, no, I live in Utah. Can you shout out your channel? Yo. Uh, what do I say? I'm not good at this kind of stuff. What's Fo follow me, Yaku Chavez, on everything. There you go. That's right. I think I first saw you on Instagram, but yeah. then you started YouTube, right? Well, no, I did. I'm all over the place. So YouTube and Instagram are for e-bike content. Twitch and TikTok are for my gaming content. Oh, that's right. All right, everybody knows this guy. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? He flew in from Delaware, the Delaware, East Coast, that's all right. the way to the West Coast to see what Super 73 has in store for us at this event. Super excited about it. <laughs> Awesome, man. Yeah. Is it, this is your second time out here? Second time out here, and, and every time I come here, I don't want to leave. Like, this I, time, I, I bought a one-way ticket. That's what I saw on Instagram, <laughs> so. Don't know when I'm going back. Cool. Well, you have a ton of bikes at your review, right? Yeah, oh, a ton. So, ton more coming, too. That's awesome. For sure. Cool. For sure. Well, uh, I'll keep watching. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like they've uh, released some new colors here. We got a new headlight on the RX. Looks like it's more of the round style. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but it was like a blue. Uh oh, blue RX. <laughs> this is the one that I wish I had. This was the original color. When I was first looking at Super 73, that was the original color that I wanted. Got like this new cherry red ZX, Hudson Blue, or yeah, ZX, Hudson Blue ZX. That's awesome. Gotta be careful not to bump into people. This could only mean one thing. Looks like there's a kid's bike coming. The new bike has to be under here. I got a countdown. They're totally teasing a kid's bike. We got the one and only Tristan. Uh, what's, what's up? up? Hey, hey, go ahead. <laughs> I'm, 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 just, I'm just glad to finally meet this guy. Yeah. Um, I've been following your channel since you started uploading Super 73 videos. Yeah. I'm always interested in what the rest of the community is doing, so this guy right here is killing it. So yeah, start a channel. Yeah. And uh, channel. Just, I just want to publicly thank you for doing your stuff early on, Dude, so I, I had to it, man. have thank an you, example. Thank yeah. Awesome, man. Good. Thanks for letting me come you, out. Good you, yeah, yeah, you too. Yeah. Looks like something's about to start. How about that? Woo! LeGrand Cruz! Uh, hello and welcome to uh, what was originally going to be our CES launch event. Uh, obviously that didn't uh, go over as planned, uh, but I think we actually have more people here today than uh, attended that show. So we asked ourselves, who else do we want to bring onto our journey with us? And it was clear as day. We want to create adventures and experiences with our children. Uh, 
what about the rest of us, those that uh, we affectionately call the youth at heart? Well, our community has been very vocal about what they want to see from us next. So we listened. And here's where we come up with. So in our quest to push boundaries and challenge tradition, we've reimagined two-wheel street legal transportation. So it was just announced in the Super 73 C1X is a fully street legal bike. It's basically a legit electric motorcycle. Let me show it to you. So I'm uh, on the blue updated R, can't remember the name of the color, but uh, just doing a quick demo ride. Nice thing about the R is uh, it's got that full suspension, but uh, this thing feels great. First time riding around in downtown Los Angeles. So I just got done riding the updated R. I want to show you these bikes in the sunlight so you can see their true color. So this is the new updated R in blue, the S2 in green. And it looks like everyone's getting ready to go for a group ride. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have a bike to ride on, but uh, here's a few iconic bikes. There's Herb, got Illicit. Blue Mamba. Sasha, <laughs> what up? Right, baby. <laughs> it's so weird to see the bikes in person, you know. It's so thin yet so sharp, and it's perfectly triangular too. Yeah, so we got some uh, drama. Oh, sorry, sorry. Peter Parker got a flat. It's too bad. Looks like uh, they're getting ready to cruise. I just snagged a bike. <laughs> Let's awesome, go. Dude. It's ready. Dude, dream come true right alongside Peter Parker. <laughs> Good to have you here, man. Yeah, dude. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Oh, nice. Do you like having it on your helmet? Yeah, I do. I feel like it's more personal that. Yeah. It's because like there'll be times when I want to point something out. Yeah. And you like in the video, you don't even see what I point yeah, out. You have to like go like this. <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad I got a bike. Yeah. Drew was like, hey, jump on. I know. Yeah, it's actually cool. pretty sweet. I think this one's the R. Oh, it is R. Yeah. No fenders on it. That's the one I like anyway. So. Do you? Looks pretty balanced to me. Yeah. Well, you know, like I kept commenting like I want to come out, but in the back of my mind, it's like, when am I ever going to make it out there? When yeah. am I going to have a bike in L.A.? Like you have a good, you have to have a good reason to come out. Yeah. But that, I think this was a pretty good reason. Oh, for sure. Uh oh. Oh. Matthew, you okay? I'm good. Just missing the camera. Okay.
That's funny. That lady cruising on the bird scooter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That you guys get the right yeah, I mean, I just jumped on it. Drew was like, grab a bike, so oh, yeah. I signed the waiver. <laughs> yeah, you did that too. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know why Shreddy and uh, Shaver didn't grab one. Oh, they didn't? No. Yola! That's awesome. <laughs> this is wild. I've definitely not been on a group ride this big. I think the most we ever had on a group ride was like 12 really? people. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And this is small. Is it really? Like LA East. Oh, yeah. This bike only has 10 miles on it. Only 10 miles? Yeah. First 10 miles on that. <laughs> <laughs> Ran out of battery on the Osmo Action, on the Osmo Action 2, but I don't have a way to mount it. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna put this away, enjoy the ride. Share with you my thoughts on the new releases. It's on back in my car for some peace and quiet to kind of gather my thoughts of everything I saw and experienced there at the event. But all in all, it was a great event, a great turnout. It was cool to be a part of that. So thank you so much, Super 73, for inviting me out and letting me check out what you have for the future. Anyway, uh, this thing is about to run out of batteries. My Osmo Action ran out of batteries on the epic group ride that we went on to wrap things up. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel and share my final thoughts after I get charged up and, and a review of the footage. So it's time to wrap up this video and there's a lot of stuff going on in it. Everything from a vlog to filming an event to a group ride and it was just an amazing day put on by Super 73. It was great to meet some other creators, but most importantly, it was great to see some of the new products that Super 73 is coming out with. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I did see a leaked photo of the Super 73 C1X, and I was reading through the comments on Facebook, and the reviews were a little mixed. But once you see this thing in person, it's gonna make a lot more sense. Some of the features about the Super 73 C1X that stood out, it goes 75 miles an hour, it can get up to 100 miles of city range, it can charge up to 80% in under an hour. So they're really trying to make it a vehicle that you can use to commute and ride every day. Coming out here, I thought it would be more of a competitor to a Suron or a bike of that magnitude but they're really focusing on that city commute. Um, it's crazy because it's bigger than the Super 73s that we know and love, not quite as big as a motorcycle. It's definitely that hybrid. For $73, you can get your name on the list and reserve one, so even if you're unsure, that $73 is refundable. And then they released the Youth Series of bikes, which if I had a kid, I would definitely be picking one of those up. They come in right under $1,000, so a little bit expensive for a kid's toy, but it's definitely not a toy. One thing that stood out to me in the presentation is how they talked about kids are just stuck watching screens and so they wanted to create something that kids could experience with their parents, get them outside, get them exploring, and get them away from just rotting your brain on a screen. I can speak to that even as an adult. The Super 73 just getting out, especially during the pandemic, has you know, helped me immensely, uh, more than I can express on this video. So I can agree with that sentiment that was shared in the presentation today when they announced the Youth Series of Bikes. Then of course, all the new colors, the update to the R, uh, the new colors for the ZX, a new color for the S2. Really cool stuff and there's a lot to be excited about. I've already said this several times in the video, but thanks again to Super73 for inviting me out. And thank you to all the creators that I met that helped me feel welcome. I was joking that I feel like a lurker when I'm on Instagram or YouTube watching all these cool SoCal rides and I actually got to be a part of one. That was a lot of fun too. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like it was an epic one with a ton of stuff. Thank you for sticking with me. And of course, if you're interested in a Super 73, use my link down below for $75 off and be sure to get yourself one of these sweet new rides that just came out. That's a hookup for your first Super 73. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think of the new releases. I'd love to read each of your comments and I do try to respond. Also hit that subscribe button because it's warming up in Utah. There's gonna be a ton more PEV, e-bike, Super 73 content. Have a great rest of your day.